Hey guys, wanted to shoot a quick video on my EDC or everyday carry. Um, originally, I was not going to shoot this video because there are thousands and thousands of videos on this on the on, on the web. But I thought, you know, what the heck? Let's go ahead and shoot it. I might carry something that somebody might like, and they might want to carry themselves. So let me talk about what I carry. Um, on my person every day, this is what I got. Uh, bear with me, my clothes are a little dirty, I just got off work. Um, things I carry with me. Uh, this is a Benchmade McHenry and Williams Axis Lock Folding Knife. I've carried this since 1999 and it is my favorite folding knife and served me quite well. Always carry this knife with me. The other thing is my Leatherman Super Tool 300. Come on a little bit closer up here and I'll show you guys what, why I like this. Um, this thing is pretty much a survival tool in itself. Uh, obviously you got the pliers, you got knives, you got files, you got an awl, you've got a serrated knife, you know, and you've got a saw. So this tool in itself is really, really nice. Now, in the pouch, for cordage, I keep about 30 foot of bank line. And as my main cutting tool, I carry on me every day a Mora Companion. Now, a lot of you guys cannot carry a medium sized knife like this with you, but fortunately I can. Uh, where I work, I need a cutting tool, and what can, you know, what can I say? When it comes to medium sized cutting tools, it's hard to beat a Mora Companion. If you've never seen a Mora Companion, got the Scandinavian grind on them. These things are uh, made of 1095 carbon steel. Um, great, great knives. If you do not have one, I highly recommend that you buy one for $12 to $14. You truly cannot go wrong with one of these knives. If I had to choose this $120 Benchmade over this $14 Mora, this would go in the river. And this would stay on my side. With my Mora, Keep my fire steel. This is surefire. Whether it gets wet, whatever temperature, it's going to give me sparks. In my pocket, thick lighter. Now, I also keep on my side. I carry, you know, the, the pants that I wear every day of my life are pretty much carpenter pants. And that allows me to carry a larger Altoids tin. Um, come a little bit closer, I'll show you what I've got in this. Obviously I use this thing quite a bit. Um, I recommend that you do use whatever you have in your fire kits. Use it often and regularly. That way you're comfortable. Fire is your number one asset. Okay, So make sure you get comfortable with your fire tin. Make char cloth make charred punky wood, all that good stuff. Now, inside my tin, I keep another Bic lighter, striker for my ferro rod, keep some wax covered jute twine, two halves of my version of a mini inferno, as well as a larger one. I am going to shoot a video on how to make these things. Um, very easy, and in my opinion, they are—they're just—they're fantastic. You cannot go wrong with these things. But like I said, I'm not going to get into that. I will shoot a video on it. And as far as the container goes, I actually just use aluminum foil. This is roughly a one by two foot square. Um, I will unfold it, 
put my fist in the middle and wrap it around to form a cup. Now, I do not recommend that you boil with aluminum foil. It can be done, but the reason I don't recommend it is once you start reaching a boil, this thing will start popping and jumping all over the place, kind of like a bag of popcorn, and you're going to lose most of your water. Basically, is what you're going to look for is the tiny bubbles that form, you know, like whenever you boil water on your stove. Those tiny bubbles that start to form at the bottom of the pan right before it comes to a boil, that's what you're going to look for. You're going to be pasteurizing your water, okay? When you see those bubbles, your temperature of your water is going to be between 160 to 170 degrees. So, you're going to let that water pasteurize for, you know, roughly 15 to 20 minutes in order to make that water pure to drink. Once you do that, you're safe to drink. Now, I know a lot of you guys are thinking that this is a little light and I should probably carry more. And you're absolutely correct. But let's think about EDC or everyday carry for just a minute. Everyday carry does not necessarily mean these are the items that you carry in your pockets or on your belt. Everyday carry just means you carry them every single day. Now, other things that I carry with me are things that I carry in my cars. But I'm going to get right back with you with a part two. I'm about to run out of time. Be right back, guys.